Do you know why the astronauts going to moon have to wear a special suit? At the end of this lesson, you should be able to define weather and climate, explain air pressure, describe the pressure belts and wind belts on the Earth's surface, name and describe various types of rainfall. Is it going to rain today? No, it will be bright and sunny today. The sky is clear. It should not rain today. But it is very hot. It may rain by evening. What are they talking about? They are talking about the hour-to-hour -hour and day-to-day -day condition of the atmosphere which can be termed as weather. Weather can change dramatically within few hours. Let us look at another aspect. We never experience snowfall in Chennai. We never experience a high rainfall in Rajasthan desert. Why do you think it is so? We have a pattern of weather condition for a particular area that is more or less the same all the years. The elements of weather, temperature, air pressure, humidity, rainfall, wind speed varies place to place. The average weather condition of a place for a longer period of time represents the climate of a place. A hot or humid weather may make one irritable. On the other hand, a pleasant breezy weather may make one cheerful and even plan for an outing. The degree of hotness and coldness of air is known as temperature. The temperature of the atmosphere changes not only between day and night but also changes from season to season. What do you think is the major factor that influences the temperature of an area? An important factor that influences the distribution of temperature is incoming solar energy intercepted by the Earth, which is known as insulation. You already learned that the amount of insulation decreases from the equator towards the poles. Thus, the temperature decreases in the same manner. This is the reason why poles are covered with snow. Temperature in cities is much higher than that of villages. Why do we experience such differences? The crowded high-rise buildings of the cities trap the warm air and thus rise the temperature of the cities. Even the concrete and metals in buildings and asphalt of roads get heated up during the day and this heat is released during the night. On the other hand, presence of greenery and absence of concrete roads and buildings make villages much more pleasant than cities. The standard unit of measuring temperature is degree Celsius, which was invented by Andres Celsius. On the Celsius scale, the water freezes at 0 degree centigrade and boils at 100 degree centigrade. What do you see in common in these examples? In all the situations, we are using air that is exerting a pressure. Even air above us presses us with a great force on our bodies. Why don't we get crushed under air pressure? We don't even feel the air pressure as the air presses us from all directions and our body exerts a counter pressure. Thus, air pressure is defined as the pressure exerted by the weight of air on the Earth's surface. The air pressure is highest at sea level and decreases with height. As we move up to the upper layers of atmosphere, the pressure falls rapidly. Do you know why do the astronauts going to moon have to wear a special suit? On the moon, there is no air and hence no air pressure. Thus, the astronauts have to wear special protective spacesuits filled with air when they go to moon. Horizontally, the distribution of air pressure is influenced by temperature of air at a given place. In areas where temperature is high, the air gets heated and rises. This creates a low-pressure area. Low pressure is associated with cloudy skies and wet weather. In areas having low temperature, the air is cold and heavy. Thus, heavy air sinks and creates a high-pressure area. Can you predict the prevailing weather condition during high pressure? High pressure is associated with clear and sunny skies. 
Let us have a look at the globe to know the general pattern of pressure on Earth's surface. The air always moves from high pressure areas to low pressure areas. The movement of air from high pressure area to low pressure area is called wind. We can experience wind at work as it blows dry leaves down the pavement or uproots trees during a storm. At times, wind can be so strong that it is difficult to walk against it. Have you experienced holding an umbrella on a windy day? Winds can be broadly divided into three categories, permanent or planetary winds, seasonal winds and local winds. Have a look at the pressure belts on the Earth's surface. There are some permanent winds that blow constantly throughout the year in a particular direction. Can you infer the direction of the winds? The winds blow from high pressure belts to low pressure belts. The trade winds, westerlies and easterlies, are the permanent winds. Some winds change their direction in different seasons. These are known as seasonal winds. Can you give an example for the same? The monsoon wind that blows over India is an example of seasonal wind. The winds blow only during a particular period of the day or year in a small area and are known as local winds. Land and sea breeze on a coastal area is an example of local wind. Can you name any other local wind? Recall the hot and dry local wind that blows in the northern plains of India. This is known as Lu. Let us look at another element of weather, moisture. During rainy days, clothes take longer to dry and sweat from our body does not evaporate easily. Why do you think it is so? During rainy days, the moisture content in the atmosphere is very high and unable to hold some more moisture easily from the wet clothes or from our body. We all know that water evaporates from land and different water bodies. It becomes water vapor. The moisture in the air at any time is known as humidity. When the air is full of water vapor, we call it a humid day. As the air gets warmer, its capacity to hold the water vapor increases and so it becomes more and more humid, making the environment uncomfortable. Jet planes flying in the sky leave a white trail behind them. How does this white trail occur? The moisture from the engines condenses as the jet planes fly. We see trails of this condensed moisture for some time when there is no air movement to disturb it. The same way, when the water vapor rises, it starts cooling. The water vapor condenses, causing formation of droplets of water. Clouds are just masses of such water droplets. When these droplets of water become too heavy to float in air, then they come down as precipitation. Precipitation that comes down to the earth in liquid form is called rain. Other forms of precipitation are snow, sleet and hail. On the basis of mechanism, there are three types of rainfall. Convectional rainfall, the orographic rainfall and the cyclonic rainfall. Convectional rainfall occurs when warm air rises up and gets condensed. Orographic rainfall occurs when warm moist air rises up due to the presence of relief features such as mountains on its way. Cyclonic rain occurs due to the meeting of warm and cold air masses. Rainfall is very important for the survival of plants and animals. It brings fresh water to the Earth's surface. Less rainfall may cause water scarcity or drought, and more rainfall may cause flood situation. Plants play an important role in maintaining the level of rainfall. Thus, plants should be protected that help in preserving water.